The Employee Messaging Task Management module allows you to share information with other employees or employee groups. Messages can be general or linked to a specific patient order or exam. Create tasks assigned to a specific employee or employee group. Capture priority, trigger date, due date, and status tracking. This demo will cover the following topics. Creating frequently used message snippets, creating messages and assigning to one or more employees or groups from the patient module and exam module, creating unassigned messages, creating manual messages from the messages screen and linking to patients, orders, insurance claims or exams, double clicking the cell opens the module to review, specifying priority, trigger date and status, demonstrating how the trigger date works, future and complete status filters, the warn flag, which sets messages to automatically open when the recipient logs in or if they are already logged in within one minute of messages being sent, viewing and replying to messages, and the employee messages report. Frequently used message snippets can be created to save time by allowing the employee to select the message from a list instead of typing it. To set up message snippets, go to File, Setup, Categories. Select the Employee Messages Category group. You can add messages by clicking on the Add button and typing the message in the Category Items section. The order which the message appears in the list is determined by the sort number, which is in increments of 10. A sort number of 10 will place the message at the top of the list. These messages can then be selected in the Employee Messages screen by clicking on the ellipsis button in the Message field. Values can be entered in brackets, separated by commas, to prompt the user to select one of the values when the snippet is picked. A hashtag in brackets will prompt the employee to type a value. To create a message from the patient module, click on the Interactions tab, then click on the Messages sub-tab. Click on the Add Message button. Note that the patient number is already filled in. Type the message in the Message field, or select a message snippet by clicking on the Ellipsis button. One or more message snippets can be selected at once. Specify a priority if necessary. Select the recipients from the Send Message To section. The WARN checkbox is checked by default. This sets messages to automatically open when the recipients log in, or if they are already logged in, within one minute of the message being sent. You can specify a trigger date to deliver the message on a future date. A due date, status, and completed date can be specified for tasks. Click Send. For messages that are to be delivered at a future date, a trigger date can be specified. Once the trigger date is selected and you click send, the message is created but it is not delivered until the specified trigger date. For example, I created a message for the user front desk and selected a trigger date of September 6th, one day from today. When front desk logs in today, the message does not appear. When front desk logs in on September 6th, the message now appears. Messages can also be created directly from the message module. To access the message module, click on the messages menu item. To link a patient's order, insurance claim, or exam to the message, you can either type the relevant number or click on the ellipsis button next to the field, which will open the applicable search screen.
You can then type the message in the message field or select a message snippet by clicking on the ellipsis button. You can also specify a priority, trigger date, due date, status, and completed date. Then select the recipient and click send. When a message that is linked to a patient, order, insurance claim, or exam is received, double-clicking the cell opens the relevant module to review. Messages that are not assigned to a specific user can be created by selecting Unassigned from the Send Message To section. Unassigned messages can be viewed by all employees by selecting the Unassigned Only filter. A status can be specified with a message or task. To specify a priority, simply select it from the Priority drop-down list. Additional priorities can be added by going to File, Setup, Categories, then going to the Employee Messages Priority Category Group. A status can also be specified with a message or task. To specify a status, simply select one from the status drop-down list. Additional statuses can be added by going to File, Setup, Categories, under the Employee Messages Status Category group. Messages with a status of complete are not displayed by default. Checking the completed status filter will cause these messages to be displayed. By default, messages are sent with the warn flag checked. This sets messages to automatically open when the recipients log in, or if they are already logged in, within one minute of a message being sent. The warn only filter is also checked by default. Unchecking this filter will display messages with or without the warn flag checked. The future filter enables you to view messages with a future trigger date when checked. Messages can be viewed or replied to by clicking on the Messages menu option, or from the Interactions tab of the Patients module under the Messages subtab or from the Interactions tab of the Exam module under the Messages subtab. Additional filter criteria can be specified by clicking on the Filter button. To see all the messages sent by or to an employee, you can use the Employee Messages Report by going to File, Reports, Employee Messages. To recap, a message or task may be assigned or unassigned to one or more employees or groups. Tasks can have a trigger date. A message or task can be linked to a patient, order, insurance claim, or exam and easily accessed from the patient or exam module.